Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following the 2-0 defeat to Alfreton. Adam, how are you feeling following that? Um, no, yeah, obviously disappointed. I think similar to the Oval. Um, no, I feel like they've done a bit of a job on us, really. We've had a lot of possession, but you know, when we got the ball into good areas of the pitch, there weren't enough quality coming in, and hopefully we've worked their goalkeeper enough. Um, so for all the possession you have, like, it's pointless unless you work the goalkeeper, and we simply haven't done that enough today. And uh, you know, full credit to them, and you know, I hope they get a, a good tie in the, in the next round. Um, you know, tough team to play against, really big, strong team. I'd say similar to the Oval. Um, and we just got to find a way because we keep coming up short when we play against um, these, these good teams. I feel like you could say for both sides though, you really feel like much was getting created. That bit of magic for their first goal just comes out of nowhere and it feels like that really changes things for them. Do you reckon that was the difference in the end today? Yeah, of course it was, yeah. I thought um, Ricky had some shots from similar range and they just go past the post, didn't they? And the whistle just passed and, um, you know, it's not a dent on Ricky's performance or nothing, but yeah, we worked the ball into similar areas and I just thought like every time they got in there was just more conviction, whether it was a cross, they put it in with more pace, ours looks a bit tame. Like, we worked it brilliantly first five, ten minutes, no, first five minutes of that first half, we worked it brilliantly. We got into the box and then the finish is just like, just not there. And it's just, you know, that's, yeah, I don't know what you, what you can do about that. You know, they're just showing more conviction, more quality, more pace um, when they get in the final third. And I think, you know, if you're going on final third entries, again, similar to the Oval, you're getting the ball into that area and then it's over to the forward attacking players to, to come up with a bit of magic. and. You know, it just seems a bit tame at times. Yeah, didn't quite work the goalkeeper as much maybe with the likes until really the future was very much at the end there. Is that is that really the difference? It's just having that killing at killing edge in the final third. Yeah, definitely. Maybe all of you know my fault recruitment wise, you know, all the players we've got up top are all players that like to drop short and get it to feet and um, you know, I just feel when the ball goes into the box, just never feel there's going to be a worm and play get on the end of it, to be honest, for whatever reason it is. There's enough, whether we've got enough power up top, um, you know, to, to finish off them chances when we get the ball into that final third or not, I don't know. But, you know, it, listen, we've come a long way. Um, uh, I think there's good, solid performance. They've been brave, they've tried to play, they left everything out there, they showed a lot of endeavour. Um, you know, we're not going to. I'm not going to come out here and start saying about the injuries that we've picked up, but you know, they have a big impact on, on what we're doing. Um, ultimately, we just we lack a lack a real centre half. I mean, we've got Joe Rye as the only recognised centre half playing against a team that are big and powerful, um, and that probably similar to Oval is just. Um, been the reason why we just fallen short. Really unfortunate with the injury uh, to play in the game in the week as well. That's, that's a massive blow for us. If we go off the pitch and look at something that's maybe a positive, today's a different experience for a lot of boys. The weekend, going over, staying away at an away day, sort of that expectations we want to set as a club, the more professional standard to go away and do these kind of trips. Is that a learning curve for the boys in that sort of sense? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, it's where the club wants to aspire to get to. Um, you know, coming up north and having to stay over and all that comes with that. And I've got to say, like the the players we got, great lads. I like, they've been impeccable, and you know all the staff at the hotel said the lads have been impeccable. And um, you know you, you can't fault them. They're, they're great, great lads, great characters. And you know we just got to find a way in these tight games against these strong, powerful teams to to just get over the line. But yeah, I think like I say, the first goals, goals massive and. You know, when they get it, it's a real gains momentum for them and you know, kills a little bit for us. Just a quick play as well for the support that came out today, great numbers in the end and I think overall a good, a good day out of them still. No, yeah, definitely and I f hope that we showed that at the end, like it, it were warranted more than just a little token clapping off. Um, you know, we tried to stay a little bit longer than normal um, to show how, you know, appreciative we are of their support and you know they've gave up a lot of time and effort and uh, it's really really disappointing and really tough that we've come up just short again from so but yeah the support's been unbelievable